Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. I'm in Kilgore, Texas at the East Texas Oil Museum, which is right on the campus of Kilgore College on Broadway in Kilgore. So let's go in and I'll show you this museum. And right outside they have a wooden oil derrick. I don't know if it's a real one. I didn't even know they were made of wood. They got a star on top. And this tells you why they built it. And here is the bust of a guy named Joe Roughneck. So let's go inside. They have this old Ford, doesn't say what model it is, and this old gas pump, and a typical home from the old days. And here's another vehicle, a truck with a wooden bed. And here we have sort of a mock-up of an oil field. And whatever this is. <laughs> Lufkin is another East Texas city. Oh, and look at this, made out of wood. Wow. A lot of detail in that. World's deepest fishing job. You can see the drill bits there. And they have all sorts of murals around here. Huge murals on all the walls here. In this case, they have samples of various products made from oil. Now here is a statue of H.L. Hunt. You may have heard of him. H.L. Hunt was one of the major men who invested in the early days of oil fields in East Texas. And this statue <laughs> is about 10 feet tall. I'm not sure why, but they have a display case of ladies' hats. <laughs> all sorts of things on display here. Look at all these belt buckles. Huh. All about the oil business. Oil belt buckles. Up here, I'm Bo, and I'm bringing this oil town to the 20th century with electricity. That's right. The Rural Electric Administration in Washington is a program that brings the bright lights of the city. Well, they got a nicely made mock-up of a small town. Here's the drugstore. Let's see what they've got. Oh, look at this Wurlitzer. Wow. Prescription drugs. And ice cream counter, of course. I wonder if they're still serving. And if you need to make a phone call, oh, it says do not use. That's too bad. Here's a photo studio. Oh, too bad. It's closed. Got a nice big frame camera. I got a cigar box collection. Two for five cents. Man, that's a good deal. Roy Tan. 
largest selling 10 cent cigar. Well, I guess so at 10 cents. No problem selling those. There's an old truck stuck in the mud. <laughs> they cut it moving a little bit. Oh, wow. Look at this mud. Have you heard of mudders? <laughs> People who like to drive their vehicles through the mud. Maybe this is where it got started. Look at this old guy lying around there. I didn't know he was there. I guess everybody's a little jumpy lately. Yeah, we've had some trouble here about us. A couple of old cups hijacking our jewels. Judgers coming up into the room at night. And here is a movie theater. She's busy reading a book instead of selling tickets. And here's one of the old simplex movie projectors. I remember actually seeing those in theaters. And they have an actual theater here. I don't know what the movie schedule is. Oh, here you go. Now showing. Relive the early days of the great East Texas oil boom. And next week is the Marx Brothers. <laughs> There's a post office, Henderson, Texas. That's nearby here. Oh, and the barber shop is right next door. Not oh, too bad. It's closed. I could use a haircut, actually. And here's the bank. Ooh, look at this vault. They have their vault right in the front room. <laughs> really? Here's a bunch of oil tools on the wall. Some kind of uh, pump and The dirge of the redneck. That's the dirge of the redneck. Not sure what that is. Here's another drill bit. Bunch of drill bits here. There you go. They grind like everything going down into the earth. Here's a couple more oil pumps. Sinclair. Dr. Pepper, five cents. I'll take one. Oh, it's locked. Wouldn't you know it? Let's see what we have here. Wright City Machine Shop. Wow, they got this made up nice. Looks like it's the way it actually was. Oh, he's working. Find out. 
Okay. Elevator operator speaking. The incredible elevator ride to the center of the earth is about to be. Ooh, I didn't want to go that far. <laughs> this is the general store. Let's see all the products they have for sale. Got one of the old cash registers. And here's the proprietor. He doesn't look too busy. Got a lot of nice stuff here. And a bunch of stuff hanging from the ceiling. And yes, they even sell guns. And wheelchairs. <laughs> Soy machine. General store, you can get just about anything you needed in the old days. I like their prices on apples. <laughs> they got toys for boys and girls. Look at this game. I wonder if that came before or after Monopoly. This is the offices of the Gusher Gazette. <laughs> oh yeah, a huge newspaper press there. I oh mean, all this old original equipment is pretty amazing. I guess they got to do something with it. Telephone booth. <laughs> That's in case you don't know what it is. Wooden telephone booth and it's got a payphone in here. It's too dark to see it. But anyway, I guess it's not working. In the water, yes. Is that because of all kinds of drilling? Well, that was interesting. Good day, folks.